Happy Tuesday and welcome to my falling in love with writing project that I've been working on for all of July. It has definitely had its ups and downs and this week I'm going to be focusing on writing routines. I'll never tell, never tell, just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell. Never revealing no secrets you're keeping, these promises strong as a spell. I'll never tell. Yeah, I'm like you. So I've never really had like an official writing routine before, at least none that I really felt was a routine. So I really want to start looking at like, what do I do before I write whenever I write my best and seeing if I can utilize that to sort of make my writing time more productive and make it feel like I'm really like utilizing my time and my space better. Today though, I don't have a whole lot planned. I am planning on doing a live stream. I finally replaced my headphones. I say finally, but like I've only been a few days without them. I was supposed to stream yesterday on Mondays is what I normally do but um, my cats chewed through my headphones and my microphone, so I didn't have anything to use. So I just got in the replacement, so I'm gonna jump into the stream there. So there's not a whole lot I can do when it comes to writing routine for that, because I have to write at my desk and I, I have to sit in the same spot. Like I can light a candle and I can get my drinks and stuff together, um, which are the only two things that I know now that I really incorporate into any kind of writing routine. But I'm getting to the point where I'm wondering like, if I change what I do right before I write or I change the way that I sit down and write, is it going to help me build a habit? So I'm starting out thinking like, what am I doing that's working out and what can I add that will work out and really help my writing routine? And I would like to work up to like creating a writing schedule because I've never really had a, a writing schedule where I wrote consistently at the same time of a day. But I do know that um, whenever I make a habit of doing something, it, it does come like second nature. So like, can I get writing to that point? And the answer might be no, but I'm definitely going to be finding that out throughout this week. To add a little bit more of the feel good for my project, I actually got these and I don't think I showed them in my last vlog because I got them over the weekend, but I got a new book to write in and I also got a new set of pens and I got kind of fun colors. Like there's purple and a dark blue and there's also a red one floating around somewhere, but I was using it So it's not right here um, But this just has very comfortable looking writing pages So I'm gonna use this to try to like switch up my location see if that helps my writing routine I also want to get in the habit of like tracking my ideas better Because if I tracked my ideas and I like made connections more on paper instead of just letting things float around in my head until I forget about them I might um, be inspired to write more or I might even have an easier time brainstorming and developing my stories for the better because I do think of things and I'm like this scene could be super impactful but then I just I either incorporate it in a way that like doesn't meet my expectations or maybe I didn't flush it out the way that I could have so this is gonna be hopefully like just a writing idea collecting kind of notebook that I'm gonna start using this week and see if it helps my falling in love with writing and also my writing development for my next project. Never have to close the door, been a long time a year before, and I'm missing you so bad. Gone away, a month or more, every show I go before, I need to hear that voice, cause right now it feels like it's been too long. After I checked in last night, I had what I thought was a really great idea. I took my like notebook that I want to start writing in and tracking ideas in, and I put like a little tab about 40 pages from the ends. And I, I picked a cute little like color that I thought matched the notebook very well, but the back section is going to be my ideas. So character ideas, novel ideas, things that I want to flesh out, maybe like relationships or dynamics that I think of that would be really impactful for a story. And then in the front, I'm going to have like all of my free writing and my handwriting, which I have been doing the last two nights and I have been loving. So last night and the night before, before I went to bed, I just was writing by hand. And I don't know if it was like switching it up or just stepping away from my computer. I have a, an inkling that it was just doing something different that made it interesting because I, I really like um, just changing things up every once in a while, which is one of the reasons why I don't think that starting with finding a specific time to write is going to be the best way to create a writing routine. My current writing routine is nothing but chaos. And I feel like if I told myself, like, okay, I'm going to get up and write, or okay, I'm going to write right after work, that something weird is always going to happen to shift that time around. Like, I, I don't have steady work hours right now. But hopefully coming in the next month, I will as I, like, move out of one position and into the next. But in general, the handwriting before bed has worked out really well for me the last two nights. And I want to try to do it again tonight if I can, if I get caught up with all my work stuff. But as I was writing last night, I had the realization that, like, 
for a while there, I focused on what am I doing before I write that is creating, like, a better writing opportunity. And last night when I finished a scene, I just, I I sat there for a minute and I was like, well, what am I going to write tomorrow if I am done with this scene already? Like, this was what I had planned and I finished it. So what am I going to work on just to get caught up for Nano tomorrow? And with that thought, I realized that if I readjust my writing habits after each time I write, that that's probably a better way to start a more consistent writing routine. So if I get in the habit of wrapping up my writing by planning out what I want to work on next or giving myself some options of what I want to work on next or just having any kind of game plan, it might be a lot easier to return to the computer and maybe I can eventually work that up into a consistent writing habit. But for now, nearly nothing in my life is super consistent which sucks, but I'm doing something about it, I think. I recently remembered that For the Words exist. I can't believe that I had forgotten entirely. I remember during a stream when I was talking to somebody, but it's a writing RPG that I used to use all the time that I really love that I think I'm going to dive back into to keep myself motivated. Just in the last week, I was like, how have I not used this in months? It used to be the only thing that kept me writing. So I think I'm going to like look back into the game and dive back in and see if there's any way that I can use the milestones that you use to complete tasks in the game to keep myself producing content. And that's what I used to use it for, and that's what it's like intended for, but but I feel like I just really need it right now as a support thing. Sometimes I use it a lot and sometimes I don't use it at all. But my next project, I don't want to give too much away because I'm not super set on it, but I am pretty set on an anthology. And I think I talked about, I know I talked about this in the stream, I don't remember if I mentioned it honestly in the vlogs or not, I don't think I did, but um, during my last project I was really invested in short stories, like as my project was dying and as I was struggling to finish it, my brain kept coming back to, oh, but these short stories, oh, this would be a great plan for short stories or a great plan for an anthology, and I have been thinking a lot lately that an anthology and a novel together are going to be my next project. So I spent some time brainstorming ideas for the anthology. I want to have some sort of overarching like theme or idea that connects all of the stories. And I'm looking into like a couple options that I thought of that I really like and I really like the sound of. And that's where this book comes in. I am a big fan of this quote that goes something along the lines of ideas are like rabbits. If you get a couple of them and you learn how to take care of them before long, you'll have dozens. So I'm hoping that if I write down these little ideas that I have and I like put them in ink and I keep them there, that I as I revisit and as I like add things to that section, it'll really just develop on its own and it'll grow on its own and I'll get more ideas. So that is the game plan for today's writing. I'm going to do some brainstorming. I'm going to look back into For the Words and I'm really excited about this anthology. I have, I have one idea that I really like so far, but I don't know how it'll work out. I don't really know what it's going to look like, so I don't want to say too much about it yet. So I flushed one of my contacts down the drain in the shower this morning and that's how my luck is going. I hope your luck is going a lot better. I wasn't really committed to filming today because I think I'm uh, feeling a little under the weather. I've just felt a little bit off and I keep waking up with a sore throat and it hasn't really gotten that bad but it's like really getting to me. And watching Joanna like took all of my energy yesterday so I was just gonna relax. But I got an exciting email, well, two exciting emails, but only one is really relevant. One is that my laptop shipped. It shipped like almost a week early, which is really great. So I'll have it at the beginning of next week. The other one is I got my first project for Yen Press and it's like a book title I recognize that I'll be working on, which is just really, really exciting. So I wanted to share the good news about the laptop love. I didn't write it all yesterday, wasn't really feeling it. And to be honest, Wednesday, which is the last time I checked in, I only wrote a little bit in the evening. I wasn't super... I want to say proud of what I wrote, but that sounds kind of harsh. I just didn't feel like it was going anywhere. I did do some brainstorming for the anthology and um, like the ideas of the tropes that I want to connect the stories. So at first I was thinking something like the things you don't expect. And then I realized like any good story has a bunch of things you weren't expecting in it. So that didn't seem like a really good option. So then I was thinking something along the lines of like 
the things you don't know. Because one of the most emotionally investing things that I read in stories is like when something's written in two people's point of view and one character knows something that's super important and serious and impacts what the other character's doing but the other character doesn't know yet. Like I really like that whole dynamic. So I thought about using that, but then I had this this idea that I just can't shake that I really enjoy, and that is creatures. Just the idea of creatures. One of my favorite things in books is mythical creatures, and one of the reasons I like fantasy is because of the magic in the other worlds, in the other races and stuff like that that I find to be really interesting. So people like Sarah J Maas, like really big writers, I actually read her books for the first time in Japan on Apple Books before I actually joined the writing community on Instagram and YouTube. I had no idea she was famous. I just read them, honestly, because I got the first book on discount from like a, a store that was closing and it looked interesting. So when I went to Japan and I needed like an English break, I was like, let's just pick up an English book. I recognized the cover because I had purchased a copy. So I read it and the thing that I loved most about, and I'm specifically referencing um, Court of Thorns and Roses, but after I read that series, I went through like all of her books. But in that series, I, I really liked the creatures. I liked the otherworldly beings that were so unique they were interesting and they weren't like overplayed and at one point it was a little irritating because I would like search like what the creature was and I'm like I don't even know what like inspired this being and on the other hand I'm like this is great because it's just adding to the world of magic and mythology so it would be really cool to have an anthology that was based on creatures and every story was a different creature. So my only hiccup and my only concern with that is the story that I just finished that I'm sort of working on, developing a little bit better, is like a contemporary fantasy and I normally write in high fantasy so I was trying to see if there was maybe something that could connect my like anthology to my novel somehow like similar characters, similar ideas or something like that just to make it a little bit more fun. But then I was thinking it might be better to keep them totally separate. So I'm experimenting with what kinds of ways I'd like to push the idea of writing on creatures. Am I going to make the whole thing fantasy? Is it some of it going to be high fantasy and some of it going to be contemporary? Is that going to be confusing? Let me know if you have an opinion on that in the comments below. If you had an anthology, would you prefer it to be all contemporary fantasy or all high fantasy? I feel like as a reader I might. Um, but yeah, that's sort of where I am. I also got some books um, the other day. By the other day, I mean yesterday. It's the only day I was out of my house. But I was really excited. I got two books, and then I grabbed one just to show you how cool it was. But the first one um, I seen on Instagram as being recommended. But the funny thing is, is I went into the store, and they had this, and they had one copy out, and it was a reasonable price, so I got it. But the author for this book that everyone's um, been referencing is just being a really good romantic fantasy with a little bit of spice. She actually wrote the book that I'm listening to on audiobook right now. I'm on the second of three books. The first one's called Dark Shores and then Dark Skies and Gilded Serpent is the series and I have been loving it. So the Dark Shores is YA. This is adult, just so you know if anyone is interested, but the Dark Shores is a YA book and it's probably one of the best YA books that I have read or listened to lately and I was mind blown because I didn't actually make that connection until I was in the store and I was looking at things. The other thing is The Beautiful, The Damned, and the third one is The Righteous. And The Beautiful, it's really funny, I have been looking for a copy of this for a couple months now because I found The Damned, if you see it is a signed edition at a smaller bookstore, and I think it was just left over from when it came out. But I found this signed copy and I was so excited and it's not even a stamp, like it's an actual signed copy. And I've been looking for one of these for months, but every time I go into the bookstore they never have the first one. They only have copies, like maybe one or two copies of the second one. And the third one is about to come out, so they have a whole table of the first book. So Fairy Loot's actually doing a special edition of the first book. So I'll have like a regular copy, a signed copy, and then like a Fairy Loot signed copy, which I normally don't mix series like that. Full disclosure, I haven't read the series yet, so I don't know if it's a series that I like, which is probably one of the reasons I don't mind doing that. Also, I can't like buy the older versions of the Fairy Loot ones, because once they sell out, they sell out forever. But the art on like the hardback, I don't know if you can see it, I can't tell. There's like a lion, I'll have to take a video of it and I just love I love when things are printed on the books. I think it looks very magical so I wanted to show you. These promises strong as a spell. 